Monday. I love Monday. Best day of the week. I love Monday. Get, 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 get Mr. Monday, sitting down with singer-songwriter Jacob Spooner. We've been on opposite teams since the day that we were born. So did you guys go play some gigs? What did you guys yeah, do? Yeah, then we played a lot. Like, we played, like, probably twice a week at, like, local college bars and stuff. Mostly, like, acoustic. Um, but, yeah, it was really fun. And then it got to a point where... Um, I, like it just was too boring doing other people's songs for three hours for like free beer and chicken wings. Well, plus know. if you're playing at college college campuses, I mean they're so drunk that they're gonna think you sound good no matter what. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. really couldn't go wrong over there. Yeah, yeah. No, it was that it was really fun. Uh, but even then, it was like too hard to like organize everybody. It's like imagine trying to organize five people all the time, you know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna organize myself and uh, just kind of took it from there. And then uh, that's when I started emailing, you know, a bunch of these really high level producers and nobody got back to me. So you so you reached out to all these producers all through the country, the best best ones in the country. Yeah. Would you send mm -hmm. them like tapes of you singing? No, because I didn't have any of that either. So I was just kind of like asking them to give me a shot, which like looking back on it, like if someone asked me that, I would say no too, you know, because I'd be like, eh, it doesn't make sense. But then I started like messing around with like voice memos you know, and after like a hundred takes of that, I'd get like a decent sounding thing, you know, going with my voice. And I'm like, okay, this sounds like presentable, at least, you know. So who took a shot on you? Uh, Scott Storch. Yeah. What did, who, tell me a little bit about him. Who did he, didn't he have, didn't he have Britney Spears? He had like everybody. I don't think he had Britney Spears, but he had Christine Aguilera's breakthrough album. Uh, he worked on Beyonce's big album she worked on and big single baby boy she did she did chris brown or he did uh chris brown's mega hits um he did uh a couple songs with timbaland you know uh that ended up being huge justin timberlake cry me a river uh so yeah he had some timeless so hits. tell me tell me how what was the process to get with him and to meet him and for him, you know do you do a recording with him did he sign you up uh, no yeah so like basically uh I got, a, I got an email back from him and it's like, call this number tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Cause it was like, it was like late December too. So it was like right before Christmas time. And I'm like, nobody's gonna answer me now. Um, and then sure enough, I call this number and it's a girl. And I'm like, oh shit, he's like pranking me or, or maybe it wasn't even his, his information. And it turns out it was his, it's his fiance, Florence. Uh, but she, yeah, at first she, they were like, who the hell are you type of thing, rightfully so. Um, and luckily I kind of like persuaded them a little and they're like, okay, like, you know, we'll give you a shot, we'll give you a shot. And uh, I get an address on January 15th, like to be there, be there at this time, January 15th. And I'm like, oh, okay, sweet. And then it says like California, because I thought he was still in Miami. So I'm like, okay, this won't be that bad, you know, getting there. And so then I tell my mom, and then my mom looks up Scott Storch, and then my mom's like, oh, you can't go by yourself, you know, like, I don't know about this guy type of thing. Um, which did, he's, did he have a he's little a great guy now? He's, he's, he's a, a great, great guy, guy, but he had like a little. Didn't he do something with pink cocaine or something? Yeah, yeah, he, he had a little bit of a problem for <laughs> for a while. Um, but it's good that he's back now. He openly sure. talks about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's all over his Wikipedia. So yeah. whether he talks about it or not, it's up there. But um, it's actually a pretty good story yeah. if you think about it. You know, because now he's he's back and he's on big albums now, and he's, got he's you. He's getting plaques. Yeah, and he's got he's got me. So. Hey, how much longer are you going to flex for, though? Your arm has to be getting pretty tight. I'm not flexing. Monday! I love Monday! Best day of the week. I love Monday.